And, you know, it's always fun in so many respects. This is really important for, for the doctors and the members to understand that SEO is not short-term marketing. Nope. It, you have to have the opportunity to allow the company to position your website properly. Um, and there's a lot to it. And I know Chris is really excited about sitting down in a study session with us. Um, so there's a lot of details to it, but ultimately, um, if you're looking for immediate calls to your office, SEO is not the way to go. Um, but, and, um, and Chris will talk a little bit about this as well, but, um, he's right. You have to be able to get involved with the company and stay involved with the company. Um, you guys are located out of Winnipeg, Canada. Yep. Um, all of your, and I've done some of this due diligence. I've talked to Chris about this. Um, you know, there's no offshore work that's being done. It's being done by Canadian and American um, trained SEO um, uh, workers, if I can use that term. Chris, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I want to make sure that we're as transparent as possible. Yep. Um, because there's a lot of value, and I'll tell you why I say that. Um, and Chris will talk a little bit about some benefits of being involved in the membership. But, um, you know, I've done the offshore. You know, I've done the $300 accounts, $500 mm -hmm. accounts SEO. Um, and Chris, maybe you can touch on this. I found it to be a big fail for me yep. um, in my business. And Chris, I was talking to him a few days ago, and he mentioned something very valuable. And what he said is the strategies that these companies use that you're paying three, $400 a month for actually poison your SEO program although immediately it might get you some great results long term as google changes its algorithms it's going to be a much bigger fail for you it might you know correct me if i'm wrong on that chris no you, you hit the nail on the head now i don't want to disparage all of my competitors generally speaking overseas seo companies need to be a little weary of i'm sure there's some good ones out there um but the issue with them is that typically they pop up very quickly uh they're kind of churn and burn companies where they're happy to do a three month SEO campaign. And in my experience, I've been doing this a little over four years now, I have never seen an SEO campaign that goes from zero to hero inside of six months, let alone three. So what you said earlier is kind of the long-term strategy here is completely true. And something I tell all my clients, and then you and I talked about Dr. Safarian, was that in order for you to see some really good results that bear fruit, it, six month mark is kind of the, the, the magic number. I'm sure tons of the people in your study group and network have heard that from tons of SEO guys before. Um, and that's true. The issue with going overseas, um, you know, having those offshore accounts is that they're not too worried about getting your website penalized. I don't want to get too technical here, but a large part of ranking a website is earning links from other trusted websites. And that's something that those overseas companies just don't seem to be worried about. So they'll earn you tons of links to your website for all the different keywords that you want to rank for. At first, it looks really good on Google. Google's very intelligent with their algorithm. And once they start analyzing where your links are coming from, I like to call it a bad linking neighborhood. Uh, you'll actually get slapped with what's called um, you know, um, a penguin penalty, which is a, a bad linking penalty. And it's very hard to get rid of that and can be detrimental to you know, the, the bottom line revenue of a business. And the other thing, and I'll touch on this because I know, we'll, again, we'll have many opportunities in our study sessions, but the other thing that's really important to understand is if you get a lot of traffic to your website, you need to understand where that traffic is coming from. So understand that if you're getting three, four, 5,000 people to your website on a monthly basis, make sure that you break it down as far as how many are coming from where and how many are coming from areas that absolutely have no meaning for you. Yeah, for example, exactly. in, in San Diego, I don't care if somebody's looking at my website in New York. Yep. I mean, for the most part, right? And then obviously yep. offshore as far as England and Australia and you know even some other parts of the world, that has no value for me. The biggest yep. for me here in San Diego is San Diego County. Um, so with that said, Chris, why don't we get into a couple of your studies, case studies yeah. um, of, of dentists that you currently have as clients? Definitely. Let me just get my screen sharing going here. Are you able to see my screen, Dr. Safarian? Yes. Perfect. Um, so I have a, a couple of different case studies that I want to show here. Um, so I'll just jump right into it and kind of be right to the point. 
so this is actually, I, I know we talked about using ones that have been with us a bit longer, but I want to show some great results that we got. So here's a really good example of timeline. This is called Mint Dental and they've been with us, you know, for about six months now, once we hit the end of February. And so this is uh, what uh, the, the dashboard that, you know, the clients will have access to if they'd like to come in here and take a look on their own. And the way this works is this column right here, this is where we track all the different keywords that are important to the client. And we find out what that is just by speaking with you, taking a look at monthly search volumes, and then also our industry knowledge of what search terms tend to produce better quality traffic in terms of people that are actually gonna call you when they search for something. And so when we first started working with them, you can see here, they only had one search term on the first page of Google. Uh, so it's been just shy of six months here and we've been able to increase their organic rankings on Google, just shy of 800 positions. Uh, we track Bing, even though no one's too concerned about Bing, but it's always a nice stat. So they increased about 200 positions there. And then also uh, we track mobile rankings as well, because the algorithm for mobile rankings is a little bit different than uh, you know the desktop rankings. So th this has increased about just shy of 230 positions. So as of today, they actually have seven search terms on the first page of Google two of which are in the top three. So the, they, they came out of the gate, you know, with a very, very good start and uh, they're quite happy so far. And so we're gonna start to see over the next six months, more and more of these search terms go to their uh, land on the first page, which is gonna increase their traffic. Great. Yep. Um, a lot of value with, um, with this information. Um, by the way, seven on page one is huge. And then 800 positions, right, overall as far as ranking increase in six months is amazing. Yeah. So Yeah, it's, uh, they're very happy. It's, it's going very well. I'm quite proud of that account. So that's what it looks like inside of the first six months. Now, that in, in terms of the increase in rankings, 800 is a little bit above average in the first six months. Um, so that's not necessarily going to be the case for everyone. SEO depends heavily on what your competitors are doing as well and how much SEO they have going on. So that, that increase can change on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, give me one second here. I'm just going to pull up my, my other case study here on my, uh, my spare monitor. So we're going to be looking at a little bit of a different uh, ranking tracker. And the reason why I want to bring this up is that in the last year or so, Google has started to get very, what I call hyper-local, which means if you were to do a search, you know, at the north end of your city versus the south end of your city, it's going to produce different results for you, especially on that local map pack. Um, basically, proximity to where a business may be based on your search term is becoming more and more important in terms of results that Google generates for a search query. So with this ranking tracker here, we get very specific and very localized. So we can actually put in their, their zip code to show them rankings you know, in their general area. And we track that on a monthly basis as well. So when we're, this is a company, called, they're called Seven Oaks Dental Center. They're actually a local client that I'm working with here in Winnipeg. Um, so we've been working with them for quite a while. And as of right now, in their area, from a local point of view, they have 23 search terms just in position one and then they have another 22 in the second to fifth position and it's the top five results dr safar and as I'm, I'm sure you probably know that you know that gets the lion's share of that, the i mean what you're saying right there is like gold mine for us dentists yep definitely I mean, I mean 25 in the top five that's like crazy by the way for people that don't know how big is winnipeg because that will come up right Yep. Uh, so Winnipeg is just shy of 800,000 people. It's in the province of Manitoba, which has about a million people in it. And, uh, you know, we do some rankings for them, you know, across the whole province. So the reason I bring that up is it's a pretty competitive market. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of dentists here. Yeah, no, there's not, he's not the only dentist in town. No, he's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, he's, so as you can see, we didn't start doing these localized, like very hyper local tracking until about September. Um, but he's been with us for uh, a little over a year now. Um, the other thing I want to touch on too, because I know communication and um, reporting is very important, at least to me and most of my clients. Um, and this, and this reporting is really next level. So it, it might look a little confusing at first, but basically this right here is going to be your natural organic rankings. This is what it's going to look like on your mobile ranking. So if you're on a cell phone, 
you can already see here for Winnipeg distance accepting new patients, you know, for the, for the desktop results, it's fifth mobile is a little bit different. They're ranked sixth. Right. Um, so we want to make sure that, you know, you're completely aware of where you're coming up, uh, whether it's mobile, tablet, desktop. So we track all of that for you. The other thing that we do is uh, we're able to take screenshots of when we do the rankings so that when we're going to the reporting, we can actually show you that when this ranking was done, um, it can show you exactly where it was. So you can see here for Winnipeg dentists accepting new patients. When we scroll down a bit, they're coming up number one on the maps and we log these screenshots. So we kind of have a historical record that we can go back and look at to see where they were and actually have that, that good hard proof. To By show. the way, I think it's important for our audience to understand we didn't script this. This is all live. Um, <laughs> You know, we're just, we're going, we're flying with this information. So um, this is not anything that's been scripted and practiced. So it's important to understand. And this, this, um, the charting that you're seeing um, also is important because as much as Chris says, he has the ability to communicate with all his clients. You guys can see all this stuff as a client. You will have access to your own yep. account that will provide yep. all this information for you live, you know, whenever you want to go on. Obviously, you don't want to dwell over it on a daily basis with SEO, but certainly every couple of weeks to a month, you can look at some, uh, some of the information on your own, which is something that's very important as a business owner to do. Yeah, definitely.